www.ghoststrategy.com. Hi, this is Chris again looking at the upcoming Tuesday, August 26th trading session. I have the economic calendar in front of you, and the first thing you should notice is there's pretty much nothing but U.S. flags. This is going to be a very U.S. centric session, and with that, uh, the first announcement of any significance is the durable goods orders coming uh, uh, out for the month of July. It's anticipated to be 7.1%. This is one of those situations where if we get good news, it might be the excuse that the market's looking to break out. The S&P 500 tried to get above 2,000. I think that if we get a strong number here, we go above there. On the other hand, it could be the reason to pull back. Either way, I'm bullish longer term, but this could be very, uh, very important for uh, U.S. In indices. The rest of the day is uh, rather... Um, minor in its importance. I'm looking at housing price index at 0.3%. Could be added boost if we get a strong move or uh, it could add to the misery. You just don't know. Um, but uh, it's think of it more as a combination between these two numbers. After that, we have a lot of uninteresting numbers. And then we get consumer confidence later in the day. 88 and a half is anticipated as the number and that certainly will affect the stock markets as well but also keep in mind that there are a couple other markets this could affect namely the u.s dollar versus the canadian dollar as it appears ready to break out and the euro versus the u.s dollar as it looks like it's set to break down with that let's take a look at the charts you can see that i have the five uh s p 500 ahead uh and front of you and the 2000 level has been pierced it was not broken during the session here on Monday so uh, we still have the possibility of a pullback but I think there's enough support down here closer to the 1985 level that it's only a matter of time maybe the maybe the durable goods orders number will be enough to push us higher if we do break down from here I am not selling I'm looking for a supportive candle below in order to make another attempt at 2000 which is a psychologically significant barrier um, right at this point in time I just cannot make the argument to sell the FTSE comes back into action as the bank holiday ends uh, in Britain a move above 6800 has me buying pullbacks at this point in time on short-term charts are buying opportunities I see plenty of support below at around 6750 or so so uh, I may actually be watching this uh, more along the lines of 15 minute charts for little scalps little quick binary option 60 second type plays the dollar CAD forex pair as you can see broke higher during the day after initially dipping and is pressing up against the 110 level. 110 is a significant barrier. If we can get above there for a significant breakout, I am aiming for a move to 1.12 and then eventually 1.15. I think good US numbers could be the catalyst to go much higher. Lastly, looking at the Euro dollar, you can see that we fell a bit during the session on um, Monday. We continue to look very weak in this market. The breakdown below 1.33 was significant. And as a result, I think we're going to 1.30. Good US numbers again could be the catalyst to send this down. I think it's a foregone conclusion. The question then becomes, do we get the catalyst in the form of economic announcements or do we get a little bit of a bounce and get a chance to sell at higher levels on a resistive candle? With that, I've looked at the Tuesday, August 26th session.